everybody, this is Sarah. Um, I just wanted to <coughs> do a do-it-yourself video making this um, wall hanging, which is going to go in my bathroom, and I'm making three of them. And the items you need to make it is a canvas. And this is actually one that I, it's a painting that I made that I don't like anymore and don't have a place for. But all it is, you can buy them at Walmart and it's a wooden frame with stretched canvas. And you can also just buy the frame, like they sell them like the pieces and you can pick whatever size you want and you just like staple them together. So you can do it that way or you can just, they're plain white and they're... Um, not very expensive. You can get them at Walmart. So I'm just repurposing this one. And then you need some quilt batting and a piece of fabric. Or what I'm doing is using a hand towel. It's just a brown hand towel. And then for embellishments, I'm using a button and some thread to sew the button on and then you need a staple gun. So what you want to do is cut your batting to be the same size as your canvas and you want it to depending on the look you want see how raised up this is, you can put more batting. Like this sheet is two pieces folded in half and then I folded it in threes. And then now that you have your fabric laid on there evenly, you want to flip it over to the back and you want to so you want to continue to do to staple all the way around and then once you get both long ends stapled down you want to take the corner and fold it over and then just fold it up tightly and staple down so once you have one corner down I like to do the other corner and then pull the fabric tightly and staple the rest in the middle. And now when you have this pulled over tightly and stapled down, you have this big excess. And you can either trim that off if you'd like or you can staple it down like I've done here. But this is just tacking it in. If you pull this out, it'll come out. So since it's going to be hanging on the wall, it really shouldn't get pulled out. So you can do it like that. Or you can do it this way, like I did on the first one, where I just took a piece of thread and just tied them together just to keep it flat so when it's hanging, it's not drooping over. Now to me, the trickiest part of this is to sew the button on. So you can put it wherever you'd like. You can put it in the middle or you can put it to the side and have it down like that or you can put it really wherever you want. And then you can also put, depending on what your rib your button looks like, did I say ribbon? Button. Um, depending on what your button looks like, see this one has um, an edge to it. So on two of the hangings, I'm going to have it flat. And on one of the hangings, I'm going to have the ridge up. And then you also want to make sure that all of your buttons are going the same way, the holes. So see this one, the holes are going this way. You want to make sure that your button holes are the same. And then you sew it on just like you'd sew on a normal button. 
and the hardest part is getting it very tight down in because you want it to be sunken in and the tighter you pull the thread the more sunken in it will be and you want to try and get if you're making more than one them all the same and I recommend um, having your thread doubled because it gives it more strength and what I find easiest is to do a few stitches to sew on the button and get it nice and tight and then knot it and then go over it more so you get a nice um, thick amount of thread. So, so real quick I want to talk about how you would hang these up and the best way I found is to use a nail that has a big head on the end and then you want to make sure that it's long enough they can go into the wall well enough and then I just slide it up on and hook it up like that or if you want you could um you know if you had the tools to you could like chisel out a little groove there to hang it up or you could attach a strap or some kind of cord to hang it with. So that's how I'm going to hang it up. And this is the finished project hanging in the bathroom. I decided to put the third one up here on the wall. I thought maybe that would be neat because there wasn't enough space to put them as low. And I wanted, because I liked being like, whoop, centered in front of the rod and I didn't have enough space because that's there. So that is the finished project of them on the wall. So this is just an example of a different um, wall hanging like this that I did, um, with fabric and some buttons, and it's hanging in my bathroom, my downstairs bathroom. So this is what it looks like, and the pattern fabric, and in my old house, well actually here I do too, but I have curtains that are this red color. So they matched, and this used to be in my kitchen in my old house. But, sorry, the lighting's so bad in here. It's really not true to color. Well, there, there we go. That's pretty good, true to color. And then this one has less padding in it, so you can um, add more quilt batting and make it look way more poofed up or less. So. I hope you guys like my little repurposing do-it-at-home wall hangings, and thank you for watching.